Um, a lift. Wanna come back to that with me? Um, so the person who is the base will have their hips underneath the hips of the person who's on top. So base, hips underneath. How does that work with two people that are different heights? Naturally, how she wants to move more than But then, if he wants to lift me, he can just go under my hips. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, there we go. So be under the hips if you're lifting. Absolutely. If you have lower back or sacrum issues, really listen to where your body is in this moment and decide whether this is a good idea or not. And take care of yourself. Agreed. Cool. Um, pushing into the back of the other person and really pushing into the floor too. Atasi is going to give me his weight from his upper back. I'm going to listen. I'm not going to go any more than he tells me to. I'm reclining as if I'm actually laying down. I'm actually allowing my weight to fully drop. I shift my weight. Once I feel I have him, I can straighten my legs. Play with Bending your legs if you feel stable. Maybe shifting. And then when you're done, super important, you bend your knees, set your person down, and you push, no person, person, come back. Put your head down. They give me all their weight and I'm in control of the lift off back. And then we're there. So the person who's going down, or being lifted is in control of the beginning and I'm in control of the end. Cool, any questions? I noticed that you have the right height differential right now. It's his bottom is up above mm -hmm. your bottom. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. So whoever Absolutely. Is, is from, wants to get down and under yeah. the mm -hmm. other person. So if I'm lifting yeah. her, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll scoot down mm -hmm. here so that her booty is just on top of my sacrum and then she'll all let her recline. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a full movement. And I just hinge. One thing that's important. Please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just slide over there. It may happen. Just because you got to get the kicks out sometimes. Let's try it again. And so the person who's in my position, one thing you want to do is keep the angle of your body kind of going up so that I don't you know, create an acute angle and then drop her on her head. So you want to really kind of stay at least 90 degrees at the most. Don't go too far down with your head. Well, stay up, stay up. And if you're feeling comfortable with your partner at this point, you guys are like, I've got this. Try like, you know, Pivot, slide <laughs> to the ground. You know, try sliding or pivoting. Maybe not like that, but you know, if, you have that, if you have that awareness and it does it not scary for you, I encourage you know that with your partner. So let's get up. Let's do that. As a person uh, who is reclining, 